It's been the same story for far too long. Girls can't play football. Like, especially you, you're skinny, you're little. They just can't see me playing football. Instead of hearing about limitations, they are showing capability to play the sport they love with the RGV Cheetahs, the new South Texas women's football team. My heart for the game, my heart to hit people has been there since high school. I mean, I've always wanted to play football. Don't let the uniform and good looks fool you. These cheetahs have claws and are ready to kick some serious butt. We like to teach women empowerment. We like to teach the girls that, uh, and women in general, that they can come out and, and, and play a sport that has usually traditionally been known uh, to be a man's sport. The training is rigorous. The hits are real. Good job. And injuries do little to discourage them from playing. This is football. You're going to get hurt at least at some point. It crosses my mind all the time. It just depends on the person's state of mind. The makeup of the girls is unique. Some juggle school, work, and family just to play the sport they love without being paid for it. Then there's wide receiver Erica Mendiola, who plays despite being both deaf and mute. She communicates with coaches and players through hand signs. They always take to her, they always want to be part of conversations. Even if I'm talking to her about something that doesn't have anything to do with football, they're always, oh, what are you saying? They teach me how to say this. So I mean, the other team's gonna have like no idea what we're talking about. You know, our, our coach can be on the sideline signing a play and we'll be like, all right, we know what's up. The first game isn't until late in May. Until then. Oh, hit her, hit her, hit her. Uh oh, you're too soft. They have some work to do. Not everyone has played football, so we're learning. We're like little kids. We're like absorbing everything. Reporting for Bronx TV, this is Alex Pena. Thank you. Thank you.